Hi, I'm Keith with O'Reilly Media, and we're here at Strata Hadoop World 2013. And joining me is a couple of gentlemen from Place IQ. Uh, thanks for being here. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you for having us. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourself? Absolutely. I am Naladri. I am VP of Innovation at Place IQ. I'm Jonathan. I'm the head of Data Science at Place IQ. Great. Now, let's talk about Place IQ. You guys are here for the startup showcase. Um, what is it? That's special. What's unique? What is it that Place IQ does? You know, right, it's really right. niche. Yeah, a bit of a loaded question, I suppose. <laughs> it so, is. We are, at our heart, a big data geospatial platform. So uh, we ingest location data. And when you think about the world we live in today, of all of the big data that's out there, this construct of location might be the biggest of the big data, right? So whether it's this phone that we're carrying around with us wherever we go, or the multitude of sensors that are in our world today, from the traffic signals to whatever else, location is being essentially tagged every sub-second of every day, right? Mm -hmm. So we take all of this data, we ingest it onto our platform, and we make sense of it. So easier said than done overall. And to do this, and to do this efficiently, we've created this end-to-end -end pipeline that allows us to lo basically load all the data, conflate it together, cluster it, classify it, and build this overarching taxonomy on top of this. Mm -hmm. And then we do the fun stuff, which is to build the rules and the machine learning algorithms that are going to be able to pull out the most relevant signals from that data. We actually have come up with our own language, if you will. Uh, we call it people, P-I-Q-L, uh, that our data scientists and our analysts use to really make sense of the world. And so we sit in this interesting space between being technologists and really social anthropologists mm -hmm. that are trying to understand and make sense of reality and perceived reality better than anybody else can. Okay. Now, with that, that huge focus, that was obviously a, a, a geospatial and understanding that data is a huge problem that I think exists probably because of just the uh, the variety of that of geospatial data that's out there all these different things that factor in just a huge volume what other problems did you guys see as you were uh, you know starting to create these solutions sure so um, I, I would say like the logic said I mean what we're trying to do is build a geospatial analytics platform with the with the purpose of understanding human behavior at scale and so just in terms of marketing, this is done um, historically, let's say in the 60s, with study groups and panels of like 60 people. And then in the 80s and 90s, right. you had Nielsen and set-top boxes, for example. And then you're looking at tens of thousands of people. But now we have um, literally hundreds of millions of people that have these uh, location-enabled devices. And that's actually what we, that's the ensemble of people that we want to study. And so um, th th this is across uh, your mobile phone, um, any of the ambient sensors you may have in your home, mm -hmm. uh, your iPad, uh, eventually the geolocation on your desktop. Okay. And so it's through all these location, enabled points that we want to understand um, you know what what do people t t tend to do th throughout their daily life what are the patterns of their behavior and right. so the first vertical that that we're focusing that we're focusing on where most of the revenue is coming from right now is mobile advertising and so I mean in this case we have the billions and billions of ad requests that uh, that are location enabled mm -hmm. and um, and uh, we're actually able to show through a metric that we devised called the place visit rate, um, the effect of c conversion. So if I w were to receive an impression for a big box retailer, um, we're actually a able to show the, the fraction of people who w were later seen at that retailer. And of course, we have to do all kinds of things like, you know, subtract out the natural frequency with which people visit this retailer. And so I think, um, uh, I mean, what we really want to do and the problems that we want to solve are really um, understanding movement. And so, I mean, and we hope that mobile advertising is just the first market vertical that, that we're working in. We're also interested in retail intelligence, the public sector, I mean, basically um, any facet of human experience for which location is important. Right, which, which makes total sense. I mean, location affects whatever vertical and whatever mm -hmm. you know kind of uh, industry that you're working so uh, i love that that's you know yeah it's and yes it's mobile 
and that's your guys' focus right now because yep. let's be honest it's, it's mobile Absolutely. of course you know you've got to address these things um, but that's great to see there's even these desires to get out of that vertical and really apply that to other areas that like the public sector and these other areas right. which really really do need uh, location data geospatial data all that kind of stuff so that's great now with that in mind where do you guys want to go in the future you know what does the next year look like um, you know if you were to dream big what would that what would that sure. be yeah, so I think over the next year, we continue to scale that mobile advertising business. We have a direct sales force now, as well as complete operational business unit that looks after our mobile advertising business, and we hope that that's going to continue to bring in the money, if you will, and uh, continue to be able to allow us and our data scientists to focus on these other things that Jonathan was alluding to. And so I think the goal really at the end of the day is to make our platform now available to our customers at some point in time, right? So we'd love to be able to have our customers be able to ask the questions that their applications are intended to answer right. using our platform. So if you imagine this world where they can bring on their first party data onto the Place IQ platform, they can begin writing people themselves that right. the analysts and the business analysts that work for them, well then that's essentially the, the magic silver bullet that we're looking for. But I guess that's easier said than done. This is very sophisticated stuff. It's taken us four years to build up this expertise about right. not just you know the underlying human aspect of all of this, but the data itself. But uh, we think we can do it. We've proven it out with the one vertical. Now we're going to approach a couple of others and then hopefully build out this horizontal platform that we can easily scale to everything else that's out there. Yeah, That's great. I, I love that idea of building something so well that you guys almost kind of get out of the way. Yep. So that way people could just do what it is. They you know find the value of whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, so. that's exactly right. I love it. Well, guys, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you it. very much. And uh, best of luck to you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks.